In today's lesson, we are going to be learning how to draw a line when we have been given a point and a slope. Before we get into today's lesson, please make sure that you have downloaded and printed off the corresponding handout that goes with this video. And if you cannot print it off, that's okay. Just get a line piece of paper and draw a couple of Cartesian grids on it so that you can follow along as we, continue, as we do our lesson. So far, we know two things about slope. We know that when we have two points or a line and we can figure out two points on that line, we can determine the slope by using the method of rise over run. We also learned last uh, lesson that there is actually a formula that you can use which is a lot more efficient and it's a lot more precise, especially when you're dealing with numbers that may be fractions or decimals or really for any number at all. That formula, which we uh, also learned last video, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we're going to keep both of those concepts in mind, um, but today we are going to be drawing a line using a slope and a point. And there are a couple of rules for us to remember. Um, if, so again, you're thinking of the formula in this format. If the rise is positive, which means if the top number is positive, we are going to move up in our graph. If the rise is negative, we are going to be moving down in our graph. If the run is positive, that's the denominator, we are going to be moving to the right. And if the run is negative, we are going to be moving to the left. So make sure you have a pencil and a ruler as we go through our examples. All right, so example number one, it says draw the line through a point, which is zero, zero, the origin, and it has a slope of three. So let's begin with our point. That is always going to be our starting point, and we want to um, draw that first. So go ahead and draw a point on your origin. Now they have told us the slope is equal to three. And whenever I have a whole number, I want to try to make it into a fraction just so we can follow our model of rise over run. So we know any whole number has a denominator of 1. This top number represents the rise. And the bottom number represents our run. Now, if you uh, think back or look back or just look at your sheet at the rules, you know if the rise is positive, we are going to be moving up. So what this is telling me is we're going to be moving up three units. And if the run is positive, we are going to be moving to the right. So that number tells me we're going to be moving one unit to the right. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to start at our, our starting point, zero, zero. We're going to go up three units, one, two, three. And then we're going to go one unit to the right and we're going to make our point over there. So again, I started at my origin, I move up three units, and I, move, I, I, put, and I move one unit to the right. And you're going to do that until you run out of space. So starting at our new point, which is the green one, 1, 3, I'm going to go up three units, 1, 2, 3, and I'm going to move one unit to the right, and I'm going to plot my point right there. I'll do this again, up three units, 1, 2, 3, and then one unit to the right, and plot my point there. So hopefully, so far, you have three points um, as I have on my example. So if you look at the, the four points you have on your graph, you can see clearly that they are falling into a line formation. However, what about the other part of your graph, the, the bottom part and the part to the left? For that, you have to consider the slope in a different way. So I know my slope is a positive 3, but a positive 3 can also be rewritten as negative 3 over negative 1. If I reduce negative 3 over negative 1, I still get a slope of 3. So you can rewrite the slope just as long as the sign doesn't change and the numbers don't change. Again, our top number is rise and our bottom number is the run. If you have a rise that is negative, that's telling me to go down. So this negative 3 tells me to go down 3 units. And if my run is negative 1, that's telling me to go to the left 1 unit. So we're going to start off at our origin, 0, 0, our, our original point. And from this point, I'm going to go down 3 units 
one unit to the left. So let's start going down three, one, two, three, and then one unit to the left and make a point right there. Oh, let me try that again. There we go. From that point, again, go down three, one, two, three, and one unit to the left and make a point. Down three units, one, two, three, one to the left and make a point. So at this point, take a step back and look at your points. They should all be lining up. Um, take a ruler and start to draw and connect the points. All right, example number two says, draw the line through point zero, zero. So again, we're starting at our origin. And this time we have a slope of negative two. So let's look at that slope. A slope of negative two, um, if we write it as a fraction, we're going to have it as a denominator of 1. The top number represents your rise, and the bottom number, the denominator, represents your run. If the rise is negative, it means we are going to be moving down 2 units. And if the run is positive, we are going to be moving 1 unit to the right. So given this information, um, let's start at our zero, point zero, 0 and follow along. We're going to go down two units, one, two, and move one unit to the right and make our point there. So down, from that point down two units, one, two, one unit to the right. And continue this pattern until you run out of space. So down two units, one unit to the right. Down two units, one unit to the right. Down two units, one unit to the right. All right, so we've gotten half of our line, but what about the top half? We need to write, rewrite this slope so that it's still equal to negative two, um, but with different signs. So if I have a two over one, and I want it to equal negative two, I can make it positive two over negative one. The final answer here would still be negative two. So it's not like I'm changing anything. I'm just looking at it in a different way. Now, because our rise is positive 2, we're going to be moving up 2 units, and our run is negative 1, so we're going to go 1 unit to the left. So starting at our zero, original point of 0, 0, we're going to go up 2 units, 1 to the left. Up 2 units, 1 to the left. Up 2, 1 left. Sorry. Um, up two, one left, up two, one left, up two units, and one to the left. Take a step back, and all of your lines should be lining up at this point. So you're going to take your ruler, and you're going to connect all of the points together in a nice straight line. Example number three. Draw the line through the point zero, zero with a slope of one over two. So make your original point at the origin again, and our slope is 1 over 2. The top number represents the rise. That means we're going to be moving up one unit. The denominator represents the run, and it's positive, so we're going to be moving two units to the right. So starting at our origin, you go up 1, 2 to the right. Up 1, 2 to the right. Up 1, 2 to the right. Up 1, 2 to the right until you don't have any more uh, units to go, uh, until the graph runs out. Okay, and how can we rewrite this uh, to give us exactly the same slope of a half? Well, if we change both of the signs to be negative, two negatives actually make a positive, so our cleaned up answer is still a half, but this lets us go in the other direction. So a rise of negative one means we're going to be going down one unit and a run or a denominator of negative two means we're going to be moving two units to the left. So start at the origin and now you're going to go down one unit and two to the left. Down one, two to the left and continue this pattern until you can't anymore. And then finally, once you're done that, you're going to get your ruler and you are going to connect all of the points and it should make a nice straight line. 
Okay, so here is example number four. Hopefully by now you guys are getting the hang of it. Again, we're starting off the uh, we're starting off at the exact same uh, point. And in our last example, I'm going to show you um, what happens when our initial point is not the origin. But for this one, we're starting at zero zero, and the slope is negative two over three. So the top number is the rise, and because it's negative, it means we're going to be moving down 2. And the denominator is the run, and because it's positive, it means we're going to be moving 3 units to the right. So starting at 0, 0, we are going down 2 and 3 units to the right, make a point. Down 2, 3 units to the right, down 2, 3 units to the right, and then stop uh, when you can't go any further. Uh, how are we going to rewrite the slope? So again, we need our numbers to stay 2 over 3. In the initial one, we had a negative at the top and a positive at the bottom. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to switch those signs around because then uh, our initial sign of negative 2 over 3 doesn't change. But if the rise now is positive 2, it means we're going up 2. And when the run is negative 3, it means we're moving 3 units to the left. So beginning at the origin, we're going to go up 2 three units to the left, up two, three units to the left, up two, three units to the left. And then as usual, uh, take a step back, your points should be lining up. If at this point you notice that they are not lining up, just go back, you've probably made a mistake, uh, which should be easy to fix. You're gonna take your ruler and you are going to draw a line through all of the points. Okay, as promised for our last example, I wanted to show you what to do when the point is not the origin. So nothing really changes. You still begin by drawing this point first. So one comma negative three is there, and that just means all of our work has to start from this starting point. Now we have a slope of negative one over two. The rise is negative, so that means we're gonna go down one, and the run is positive, so we're gonna go two units to the right. So starting at negative 1, 3, you go down 1, 2 units to the right. Down 1, 2 units to the right. Down 1, 2 units to the right. Down 1, 2 units to the right until you can't draw anything else. Do the same thing, um, but change up the slope. So now instead of negative 1 over 2, I am going to look at positive 1 over negative 2. Positive 1 means we're going up 1. Negative 2 means we're moving 2 units to the left. So we're going to begin at our original point of 1, negative 3. We're going to go up 1 unit and 2 units to the left. Up 1 unit, 2 units to the left. And then continue this trend all the way till the end of the grid. And then as usual, you're going to take your ruler and you are going to draw a straight line through all of the points.